I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Rural Expert. People are asking, Steve, how do I know how many calories I'm utilizing throughout the day? I can count my calories, but I'm not quite sure how to figure out how many calories I'm utilizing or how many calories my body needs. With regards to calorie utilization, 70% of your calories are utilized through basal metabolic rate, meaning your metabolism. So if you just sat in bed for 24 hours a day and did nothing, 70% of your calories would be utilized by your body. All those metabolic activities that keep your body alive. That's where a lot of your calories would go. About another 15% of your calories are utilized through daily activity and daily movement, excluding your workout. We're talking about showering, going to your job, driving, stuff like that. About 13% of your calories are utilized through eating and digesting food. Now again, these ratios will vary based on your size, your activity levels, what you eat, but in other words, a majority of your daily calories are utilized without you even knowing about it. And that last one or two percent of those unused calories are the calories that accumulate to make us fat. So then we have to get rid of that one to two extra percentage that's not utilized and that's where your workouts come in. Now calculating how many calories you utilize throughout the day, number one, you gotta think about how big you are. If you're a big guy or a big girl, you're utilizing a lot of calories. Typically we utilize about one calorie per minute or about 60 calories an hour. But if you're a 280 pound guy, you're gonna be utilizing more because you've got a bigger organism to keep alive. So you can sort of take that into consideration. As we begin to exercise, we begin to utilize more calories. Now here's where people begin to stumble and fall because they say, Steve, I went to the gym for an hour and I utilized about a thousand calories. Whoa, people way overestimate their calorie utilization. You burn about uh, 70 calories per 15 minutes of cardiovascular activity. And during that 15 minutes, you cover about a mile. So I don't give a shit what the treadmill or the elliptical says. You do cardio for an hour, you'll cover about four miles and burn about 280 calories. If you run faster and you cover five or six miles, will that go up exponentially? No, regardless of what the treadmill or the elliptical says. Instead of burning 280, you might burn an extra 50 calories, so make it 330, not the typical 900 that the treadmill or the elliptical indicates. So what this, and then let's talk about weightlifting. Weightlifting, you lift weights for 10, 15, 20 seconds, and you stand around for two minutes. So during that hour where you're normally burning about 60 calories an hour, let's double that. Let's triple it. That makes 180 calories, not that much. So if you take into consideration a workout, 180 calories, 30 minutes of cardio, another 140, 150 calories, you're looking at maybe 300 to 330 calories utilized during your workout and cardio session. It's not a whole lot. So that's where you have to sort of get a perspective on what you eat. That's why I'm always talking about getting a calorie count. Then you get a perspective, a real perspective, on your working out. Hey, did I work out a lot? Did I work out hard? Did I work out consistently? Did I actually do cardio? And from there, you can sort of get an estimate as to your calorie intake and your calorie utilization. It is an estimate because you're going to have to sort of take a crapshoot over the next couple weeks and see whether you're utilizing fat and losing weight. If you're not, then you've got to look at your calorie intake, make sure that's accurate, make sure you're consistent and not cheating, or look at your workouts and say, maybe I overestimated my calorie utilization and I either need to work out harder or work out longer or work out more consistently. I was talking to a kid at the gym yesterday who wants to get cut, but he doesn't lift very much. I'm like, dude, you've got nothing much to cut down to. You're not even that muscular. And this is why I'm always talking about lifting hard and lifting heavy because once you're at your target weight, hey, I want to be 170, 180, 200, whatever it is, now it's time to change your body composition. And by training consistently and most importantly, intensely and heavy and hard, you utilize those extra calories, not just working out, but in the recovery phase. 
So building all those additional muscles from all that heavy lifting requires calories. So that, that's where additional calorie utilization comes in. So I told this kid, I said, if you worked out with me, we wouldn't even worry about your stupid diet. We just get you training hard, heavy, and consistently. And after three months, you'd see a difference. And after six months, you'd see a big difference. You'd be bigger, stronger, and more lean and more cut. And we wouldn't have even worried about your damn diet. So this is one of the, the secrets about training hard and training heavy. You don't have to do as much cardio to get that lean, hard, vacuum-packed look. So if you get a better estimate on your calorie intake and then re-estimate your calorie utilization, that's how you're going to be able to sort of determine how much calories you need to take in and how many calories you're utilizing so you can create that, create that small, consistent calorie deficit so you can lo you lose body fat without losing muscle. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.